I recorded this whilst at the hairdressers and there was music playing so when I uploaded it to YouTube it said it was unavailable in some countries so you're having to have me do a voiceover instead. So I've just been to the hairdressers, had my hair done and it was looking lovely. I've just been caught in the weather coming out from the hairdressers and now my hair that was looking so cute is looking a little bit less cute. <laughs> Never mind. just here to have a consultation about my tattoo removals. One of them won't go. I've come to edit today's vlog and I've got one minute of footage. <laughs> Thank goodness I did some pre-recording. So here are my little stockings, they're like primitive stockings that I made from the um, samples I got from Merchant and Mills and um, was, con was considering things that I could do with them and I ended up doing, doing these little stockings. I absolutely love them. I think they're just so cute. I'm gonna hang them on my tree, but first I'll slip in here the footage that I took of the making of them. My hair's gone static, look. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. I'm gonna make some little little mini stockings out of these um samples that I over ordered from Merchant and Mills. So I've got this stuff. This is um freezer paper. It's not a common thing in the UK, freezer paper. You can't just buy it in the supermarket. You can buy it in craft shops. <laughs> I know it is for wrapping up your frozen goods so they don't get freezer burn. But with this, so I understand it, I can gently iron that on there and it will stick on there. Then I can stitch around my little shape and I'll report back. I might even fold down the top so that I so that it's ready hemmed. That might be a good idea, mightn't it? Like that. Let's give that a go. Okay, I'll go and do that now. Okay, I've just folded over that top little bit there. Sorry, let's just pop this on, hang on, that needs to go up, so, I think that's about right, is that on, oh it's on, right I'm just going to pop a pin in stop the two pieces of fabric from shifting oh look coconuts awake hello you little beast hi you bite me though don't you you think everything's food see he's trying to get me now you coming out Come on then, come on to my hand. We have to make sure there's treats for him. Oh, he's going to bite me because there's no peanut on there. He's going to go back in. He's scary. Oh, not as friendly as little Timmy. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh, it's not plugged in. Yes, it is. It's not turned on. a really short stitch length to get around this corner. Let's have a look. Let's tear this off. 
It's not coming off. It's my chair. This is one of the things that um, my friends from school got me for my 40th birthday. They um, got me a few bits, but this was one of them. I think it might actually be too, too pokey. Blunt end of a pencil. So I don't want to go through this, it's quite a fine weave. Here it comes. It's like a witch's hat. Cute. Oh, it is. Oh, it's so stinking cute. Oh, it's making my nose fizz. Look how adorable that is. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. What on earth has happened to my voice? Oh. oh, look, that's a bit funny, that heel. It's not come out quite the shape I was after. But it's really adorable. Oh, that is so lovely. got some of this sort of paper string stuff bigger end of it I could put a little I could put a little brass bell on there from the um you know the lint um what are they called the lint well the lint bunnies and Christmas snowmen and and father Christmases and Reindeer, I could put one of those on there. This is what I mean. One of these, or even one of those, probably, because that's a better size. Oh, gosh, both so adorable. Oh, I was looking for that. That's one of my old brooches. Oh, I remember now. The um, stalk thing came off it. I used to wear stuff like that all the time. Don't need a stalk pin. Oh, look. Little soldier. Nutcracker. Okay. Put this little bell on. <laughs> I just think it's so sweet. house on the prairie sort of vibe like a peasant Christmas well that was lucky I've just finished the last one and my bobbin ran out I love it when that happens well I don't love it when the bobbin runs out obviously who does but I love it when you've just finished something and Oh, you know what I mean. When something lasts you your entire task, so you don't have to stop halfway through. I hope these all turn out all right. Doesn't matter if they don't. It's 
just lovely to use up little scraps like this. I know they'd have been all right in a patchwork, but they are a funny shape. Look at these little darlings. Aren't they cute? They need bells now. They're just so sweet. Oh, look at them. Aren't they sweet? I've finished them. I'm so pleased with them. The fact that they were little scraps of fabric samples. So, you know, still got the samples here. Of course, I don't know what any of them are called, but that wouldn't be that difficult, would it? To have a look at. I finished that sentence in my head then. Wouldn't be that difficult to look them up on the old um, website. Oh, gosh, I love them. They're just cute. They're like Bob Cratchit socks. I'm just dropping them everywhere. I'm so glad I kept all these little bells from the um, lint bunnies and things. Obviously I haven't kept all of them. I don't know where these little roundy ones come from. Oh, I love these. I'm just so pleased. They look so sweet as a little bouquet of tiny socks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I can't really see the colour of this. They've got different fronts and backs some of them oh look that's not lit up anymore that's not lit up that's not lit up that's not lit up none of the tops lit up oh never mind it's lit up enough isn't it love this one love that fabric i might have to get some of that and make something maybe another meadow skirt which I haven't shown you guys yet. I've shown the making of that on Patreon. Don't talk about my Patreon channel much because I got quite a bit of flack for it when I first started it. Um, and there's limited numbers on there anyway and I'm at full capacity at the moment. But if you did want to join, do check now and again because spaces open up. I encourage people to come and go. I encourage people to sign up for a month, binge watch, and then clear off again, leaving a space for somebody else. I also like it when people come and stay, you know, stick around. That's such a compliment. Um, it's $3 a month, plus whatever your country's tax gets slapped on the top, but that's nothing to do with me, and I couldn't advise you on what that is because it's different for each country oh these are just stinking cute i think i love them oh look at that look at that I don't think I've ever been more pleased with myself over something that I've made. <laughs> I really love it. Aren't these lovely? These were a gift last year from my my friend Catherine. I've got them out as decorations at the minute because they're just so pretty and I want to look at them all the time. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Let's hope I managed to film a little bit more but honestly today aside from 
getting my hair done and then going to have a review of my tattoo removal because it's not going well. I've had several sessions and, and one of my tattoos just is not budging. Yeah, so aside from that, I just haven't managed to film anything. Never mind. See you tomorrow.